I belong from a traditional Bengali family back in Kolkata, India. And uh, what is expected today of a woman is uh, to go through the way of uh, getting married and having kids by the age of 30. So I think my motivation came a lot from my education when I went to university. So at the time, at that age, I really wasn't even equipped with these words, right? Sexism, misogyny, feminism. My long journey has taken three phases. One of activism in women's causes and women's rights, and two, working in a man's world and making cracks in the glass ceiling, and three, leadership. Instead of uh, being expected to be married by the age of 30 and uh, grow with a man, I chose to get three degrees by 30 and uh, get into the way of getting out the inner child in me and grow as a person. I first marched in 1978 for the Equal Rights Amendment in Washington, D.C., early on in the women's rights movement. Later on, I decided that I wanted to go into the culinary world. I love to cook. Little did I know I was entering a man's world. To go into the kitchen and to be treated equally was not heard of at that time. I had to work hard, stay focused, have a thick skin, and be very good at what I do. I got into my first clinical master's degree here in Armenia. Today I am Pursuing my second uh, master's down the line, four months, I graduate with another degree, three feathers in my cap already. The way I see it is what other public health crisis can you think of in the world that impacts 50% of the population and is still dismissed, is still politicized, is still demonized, is still encouraged to deteriorate even further than it already is. I mean, it's ludicrous, but this is the reality of the situation. I also had to fight for equal pay, for equal work. These skills led me to Armenia in a strange sort of way. It's cause and effect that led me to Armenia and Volunteer Corps, which has been the most important part of my life so far. I have loved every minute of it, and AVC has given me the opportunity to develop myself as a woman even more. I think it's really important to be able to understand the different impacts in different sociocultural contexts, right? Such as in Armenia, it's very different than violence against women in the US or in Eastern and Western Europe or in other parts of Asia. It all manifests itself in different ways. And so for me to be able to be here and apply the skills I have so far, while also gaining better insights into the issues that Armenian women have, for me, this is what has kind of led me here in a sense, is also to gain this additional perspective and understand those issues on a deeper level. I got into co-op uh, with the AVC, Armenian Volunteer Corps, and at co-op currently I am working uh, on background research on uh, dental uh, prevention for kids. And uh, I'm also working on my thesis project with co-op, and I'm looking forward to give Armenia back in terms of academics as much as I have got from Armenia. I've never felt empowered because I've been too busy paving the way for the next generation of women so that their life is easier, so that they have laws to protect their rights. I want to encourage all of you women to never forget that it's your turn now to continue the fight for women to make choices for your own bodies, to make choices for your own lives. Women today are not only uh, empowering other women, but within themselves growing. We're making a lot of ample progress with different initiatives, different laws, but we have a long way to go. And I'm not running out of stamina anytime soon, and we're not going back.